I'm making a papier-mâché bunny rabbit head. Hi, this is Rosani. Look how easy it is to work with liquid starch and a cheap paper napkin. That's right. That's what I'm using to make this little rabbit. This is a favorite papier-mâché process of mine. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm pressing in here and there to get the process started. I'm going to form the little shapes needed to create a bunny rabbit face. I'm using a single ply cheap napkin from the dollar store. The thing is that the napkin has to be able to absorb the liquid, and it needs to stick together. It's best to have little pieces, as many little pieces of napkin soak ahead of time in the liquid starch. Soon I'll be ready to add the ears. But for now, I'm covering up the details with little pieces of paper napkin and using the liquid starch over it. That holds it in place. This could be as easy as working with clay, but there's no clay in this. It's just soft and easy to sculpt. I like to use a wooden skewer to hold it. Here I am shaping the ears, just for starters. I tear the paper into little strips, and I twist the ends. And then I see how they will fit on the back, and I make a few adjustments. Then I begin working some more on the nose, the cheeks, and the little mouth, just to add a little more definition to the face. I add more paper napkin pieces with the liquid starch to the back to hold the ears in place. I like to use Stay Flow liquid starch. This is not sponsored. But I've enjoyed using Stay Flow ever since I learned this process. It's easy because it just pours directly out of the bottle. You don't have to dilute it. It's ready to go. All you have to do is add paper. I have let it partially dry so that I can work with it a little bit more and define some of the features. So I go over it with a pencil, marking where I want the eyes to be, the cheeks, the nose, the little mouth area. And that's going to be my guide. And then I let it dry a little bit more. After this dries a little bit longer, I'm going to go back and work on the ears. I'm going to be using paper napkin pieces with the liquid starch, as you can see here. But the ears are going to be flimsy, so I have to prop them up on something. And it's going to take a few layers to get this done. But for now, I'm putting just a few pieces on there. Do you think he's coming along nicely so far? Let me know in the comments. You could easily work out the ears ahead of time and put them on afterwards, but I decided to do it this way. There's always flexibility in making these types of bunnies. Create them in different shapes and sizes. This video is about making the head. There will be more parts. If you're interested in making a torso, a full-bodied bunny, we can do that as well. But for now, 
I'm going to finish working on the head. Please let me know if you like this type of content by hitting the like button. And I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell to receive updates. You'll be able to see this little head completed. Meanwhile, I hope you'll give this a try and experiment with the textures. You can make the ears floppy. And like I said before, make these in different sizes and shapes. Just have a good time. That's what it's about. And if you've made any papier-mâché projects for Easter, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. I hope you've enjoyed this video segment. I've enjoyed showing it to you. Keep on creating, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.